The San Angelo Fire Department overnight extinguished a three-alarm warehouse fire downtown, responding with eight trucks in a successful effort to keep flames from spreading to adjacent properties, including homes. The fire destroyed a Lone Star moving warehouse at 131 West 4th Street that was filled with furniture and wooden crates. No one was injured, and the cause remains under investigation by the city fire marshal's office. Fire Chief Brian Dunn said in his 23 years with the department, he's never seen a fire that required eight trucks. He praised his firefighter's skill and professionalism for being able to contain the fire to one structure. A ladder truck from Central Fire Station responded to a call of a grass fire at 10.53 p.m. Wednesday, February 27. When firefighters arrived at the scene, they called for a full response for a structure fire, soon followed by second and third alarms. Firefighters entered the warehouse to find an attic space engulfed in flames and extreme heat. To ensure the structure didn't collapse on them, the firefighters retreated and focused efforts on containing the fire and preventing it from spreading, particularly to a row of neighboring homes on West 3rd Street. A reserve ladder truck was called in to assist in that effort. The warehouse was also adjacent to other such facilities owned by Lone Star Moving, Angelo Apartment Movers, and Palmer Feed and Supply. The San Angelo Police Department cordoned off several blocks as AEP provided an immediate response to shut off power to the warehouse, ensuring that electrical lines above and around the building didn't feed the flames. Trucks were called from all but one of San Angelo's eight fire stations to fight the flames. A truck at station number two at 4702 Southland Boulevard remained in service to respond to other calls. The San Angelo Fire Department also called in off-duty firefighters to provide fire coverage to other parts of the city. Firefighters attacked the fire from above and the sides, dousing the flames with a minimum of 4,000 to 4,500 gallons per minute. More than one million gallons of water were used in the effort. The fire department began peeling back its attack about 7 a.m. Thursday, February 28th, leaving three trucks at the scene. At that time, a new shift of firefighters relieved their peers who had worked in below freezing temperatures through the night. Firefighters expect to be at the scene through Thursday as hot spots under the collapsed roof continue to flare into fires. Fire Marshal Ross Coleman said his investigation will begin today as portions of the building are excavated and extinguished. The excavation plus the extent of the damage will make the investigation more challenging. For SATV, I'm Anthony Wilson.